Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic Survival. Now, in the last video of Survival, I made a wall climbing buggy. Now, I got so many comments from people saying, Moonbow, like, what's the point of this? Why didn't you just make a plane? Why didn't you use the stabilizing glitch, you know? And so, I know a lot of people are new to my channel, and they might not realize that I don't use glitches in my game, and one of them being the suspension glitch. So, if you only have two thrusters, it is possible to make a flying vehicle by utilizing that glitch. Now, I don't want to use it. That is why I didn't make a flying creation, and for me, making a plane or some type of flying vehicle in survival, that's like some end game stuff. Like, to be able to have the fuel and the stability to fly something properly is, like, it's it's a big deal. And so I'm gonna get to that eventually, you know, I have to work my way towards it, and I'm not gonna be using any glitches to achieve flight in Scrap Mechanic Survival, so that is why I'm working on this buggy. And that brings me to another point, actually. If you're watching someone else play Survival, and you have a thought where it's like, oh man, I want to go and tell other people to play the game the same way as this person, I, I strongly suggest, at least for me, that you refrain from doing that. There's, I have no interest in playing the way other people are playing. I'm having fun in the game the way I like to have fun in the game. I've already said this before. I feel like I have to say it every single time. So, you know, don't worry guys, I'm having fun. You don't have to worry about telling me how to play. And I think, oh wow, did I just... This might be the most appropriate garment to unlock today. Where is it? Is it under torso? Here it is. Oh my, this is the lumberjack sweater? Oh, okay. We're wearing this lumberjack sweater because today we're gonna be chopping down trees and we are going to be refining those trees into wood using this absolutely awesome lumber mill right here that I've made. So it's getting dark right now. I'm going to wait for the morning before I show all of this so we can actually see it in full daylight. All right, it's a brand new day. I have done some looting here just in the meantime up until now, but I'm ready to start running this lumber mill and <laughs> I still can't believe we unlocked the lumberjack jacket for this video. It's it's almost eerie. Now as for this lumber mill, it's actually quite simple. I have a whole bunch of saw blades right here. They're hooked up to an engine that spins them really fast. I've got some guide wheels here as well just to kind of make sure everything goes into the saw blades. I also have a stopper up on the top here so that when the wood goes in, it doesn't kick up and into the top there. It actually just kind of stays down and into the blades. Now behind the blades, I have two storage containers on either side, as well as two refine bots leading to one single chest right here in the middle. Now I'm actually going to move this out into the daylight. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to see it when, uh, when it's in the shadows there. Now I did modify my big straight truck with some extra saw blades, so you can see I've got some extra ones here on the top. I have one down in the center. So this is what we're gonna be using to go and get our lumber. And then we're obviously going to be able to store that lumber in the back here. And there's something that's very interesting about it that I didn't realize until now. So on the Scrap Mechanics subreddit, I saw people posting that you can weld the bottoms of trees as well as the bottoms of rocks to your creations. And that was like mind blowing for me because I was prepared to make a crane system in order to pick up the downed trees, and I knew that that was going to be very expensive. It was going to use lots of bearings, controllers, pistons, and I have already invested quite a bit into some of my builds. Uh, but this is what we use. We're going to be grabbing this truck here, and we're going to go and chop some trees down. Now, there are the giant redwoods, and there's the smaller ones as well. So I'm going to start with a load of some of the smaller trees, and then I think after we want run those ones through the lumber mill, we're going to move on to the giant redwoods, and we're going to see how it does with that. Now, as for this truck with the modified saw blades, it's super simple. You just drop your saw blades down, you line up to the tree, just like so. And so I have these very, very low to the ground, and the reason for that is because I like to be able to try and bring the tree down all the way at the base. Now, as you can see right there, 
this tree did break in one section, so maybe that's because I was on a little bit of a hill. Uh, but normally you can break this base of the tree, and then once you do that, you actually have the full thing. Now, once the tree has fallen, you can see there's all of these giant branches sticking out and everything. And I don't think there's necessarily... Yeah, there's no hitboxes on them, but they can be very, like, visually intrusive. So what you can do is you can actually just smack it with your hammer a couple times, and that will break off those larger pieces there, and then you can see the tree for what it actually is. Now, this one seems like it's extremely long. Normally, I would probably chop it in half, but because we lost that length on the end there, I'm not going to bother doing that. So I'm going to grab this tree, and it looks crazy. Look, you can see the tree still exists in some way, uh, but we're going to pop it onto the back of our truck here. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. Being able to grab the tree with the weld tool, and then actually welding it to the vehicle. Oh, I almost forgot. I actually have to put the gate down. All right, there we go. The gate is going down. That is why I couldn't weld it in some spots. So let's do this again. Let's grab that. Now it's actually easier to get up into the back of the vehicle. And let's just kind of find a little corner here down in the bottom. Right there. All right, perfect. So now we have our first giant log. Now, like I said, it's kind of sticking out the back there. Normally, I would chop it in half. But we've got one. Let's move on to a second one. All right, this tree is looking pretty good. Let's drop the saw blades down. And let's try and grab, grab it from the stump there. Nice and easy. There we go. So, if I go up slowly, that usually works way better. There, let's break that. Alright, so these ones are actually... These ones are way shorter than that first one that we broke. So we're gonna grab it though. We're gonna weld it right next to this one right here somewhere, just like that. I'm wondering if being able to weld the rocks and the trees to vehicles... I don't know if that's intentional or not, or if it's something that um, Axolot didn't plan on having, so... I mean, at this point right now, though, we're able to do it, no problem. So, might as well have some fun with it. Alright, here we go. Break that tree there. Now, I think this is... This is a very similar tree to the one we just put in. I think it's actually, like, the exact same kind. So, let's try and see if we can't rotate it a bit just so it looks a little better. Okay, there we go. Okay, that one's actually sticking up pretty high. And, you know, there's nothing stopping us from grabbing one of these smaller trees as well. Uh, these can also go into the lumber mill, no problem. So let's just chop it down right there we go. Oh man, it's so satisfying when you actually get the tree at the base and you don't lose any length. Because that means you just get to put more into the mill. And, I mean, come on now, that's just way more fun. So we're just gonna grab this little birch tree right here. These ones don't have a lot of wood, but you can fit so many of them as you're welding them. Now, look at this. You can see the invisible kind of area of the trees are still there. You can still see them when you have your weld tool out. Now, I'm probably just going to grab a couple more trees. Um, I, I have filled this entire truck up completely to the top. But like I mentioned, it does start to get pretty laggy. And so I'm going to try and avoid lag at all costs for the video. Alright. Oh, man. It's so satisfying. Oh! We almost crushed this poor little farm bot. See, now this is one of those really long ones that I didn't mess up. At the back here, you can see I, I have the full length. So what I'm going to do, though, is I am going to find kind of like a center point right here. I'm going to break it down, and I'll just kind of refine these pieces. And then I will be able to weld uh, both of these halves to the truck. All right, so let's start with the base here, the bottom of the tree. We're just going to find a spot to weld it, just like so. And then we'll grab the other half, the top half right here. And this is super easy. You don't have to sit around here hammering all of the wood. You don't need to bring any portable refined bots with you or anything. And I, I feel like the reason why it works so good for the lumber stuff is because there are trees everywhere. You don't have to go far to find a tree. Whereas with the minerals, it makes more sense to bring something that you can refine with simply because... Sometimes you have to travel so far away just to find an appropriate amount of rock to farm. But let's do one more tree. Let's chop down this evergreen at the base, maybe. There we go. All right. Oh, it's so good. Now we're going to see here. What's the length looking like here? Okay, this is not too long. So I think we'll be able to just grab this one in its entirety. And then we're going to weld this one. Oh my. You can hear the trees. They just don't stop. They just don't stop making sound. Okay, there we go. 
Now, this is enough, I think, of a run to go over to the lumber mill now. We're gonna pass these trees through it. We're gonna see how much wood we get. And then we're gonna do nothing but runs of the giant redwoods. We're gonna see how many redwoods we're gonna be able to fit into the back of this truck. Alright, nice and easy, nice and easy. We're just gonna park right here. Now, this is what I do to set up the, uh, the lumber mill. I put a single block on this spot right here. Now, this is a pusher. There are pistons underneath here. You can see there's a three stack of pistons. And those are what is going to drive the entire uh, piece of lumber in to those saw blades. Now, this is the easy part as well. All I have to do is hop up into the back of the truck here. And now I am going to just kind of start separating the trees from this entire backboard here. So we can get rid of that. There we go. Grab my weld tool. Grab that piece of the tree. Now, I don't know if this is too long or not. Okay, no, it, I don't think it's too long. It's just, it's hard to see. Okay, there we go. We've got our first tree loaded in. Now, all I need to do is go right here and separate that block. There we go. The tree is now totally free floating and we are ready to run this lumber mill. So I'm gonna turn the gas engine on. There we go. And let's start milling. Oh yeah. So easy. Look at this. We can even view it in the first person. It's so good. It's pushing the tree in. And there is the final blocks and it's done. Turn it off. And now our refine bots are going to be grabbing all of that wood with the containers. It's going to do that, and while it's doing that, of course, we just have to move on to our next tree. So we just have to break our blocks somewhere around the side there like that. Grab our next tree. Pop it right here. Sometimes I forget to grab the extra block, but that's alright. All you have to really do is kind of just delete some of it like so. Tree number two. Push it in. Oh man, this is so satisfying. It's so much fun. And it's so fast. I, I think the thing I love the most about it is how little effort there is to now producing wood. I don't have to really think too hard about going out for wood anymore. I just kind of go out, chop a few trees down, load them into the back of my truck here like this, and then bring them back to the mill. Alright, here goes another big boy. But not as big as the redwoods. The redwoods are truly impressive when they go through this mill. Oh my god, it's so easy! It's so fast! Look at that! Done! Now, I actually want to try something. I want to try and put two of these in at the same time. Let's see if this is going to be possible. Now, I'm actually going to want to put um, some of these holding blocks on this one. So I'm going to put one maybe here. And then I'm going to put one higher up as well. And I just realized the sun is starting to go down. But that is okay, because this truck is actually really good as a spotlight as well. I'm gonna put the light right over top of it, just like so. And now we should be able to see pretty well in the dark. Okay, tree number one is gonna go right... Uh-oh, is this too long? Wow, yeah, I just welded it to the top, and it's a little too long for the machine. I'm just gonna break it in half here. Okay, there we go. Now, I have a feeling this might be a bit of an issue with it hanging off to the side here, so let's just break this down even further. There we go. And I can't... Okay, you can barely move these things, but I know I can actually just weld this piece over here like that. Wow, yeah. These are actually so much fun to manipulate with the weld tool because I can break it into, like, all sorts of different sizes and different lengths. But I do want to try and, like, not necessarily overload this lumber mill, but I do want to see what I can get away with. Alright, here we go. Break that. Oh, man. There's a lot of wood here. I don't know what's going to happen. I have a feeling this is actually going to get stuck on the top. Let me just kind of break it down a little bit more. I'm just, I'm scared. I'm scared it's going to jam up. Okay, you know what? This might be as good as it gets. Let's try it out. Oh, my God. Oh, no, we lost one. That's all right. Let's just start pushing. Oh, yeah, come on. Is it working? It's working. Wow. Wow. There's so much wood going in at once. This is insane. Uh-oh. Is it stuck? Nope. It's not stuck. Every time I think it gets stuck, it just keeps on going. There we go. A little bit more. Jam it in. 
And there we go. Wow. So there's really only a little bit of this wood left. Now, these were the small, normal size trees. Uh, but the real action does begin once you start using the giant redwoods. Those things are so insane. You get ridiculous amounts of wood from them. And I, I think I remember correctly, you don't even get scrap wood from them. It actually just goes straight to the normal uh, wood one block, which is huge. So here is the last two trees. Actually, well, there's this one and then there's one of those tiny little birch ones as well. So why don't we just load this up to the brim with more. I'm going to put that final birch tree there and then we're going to be able to go and start doing some of the giant redwoods in the next day because it is obviously nighttime now and I want to be able to see all of that lumber mill action. All right, here we go. One final tree. Oh no. Okay, this might be this might be a little excessive. Let's break it down a little bit. Try and get it all inside here. Can I can I bring that down? Okay, no. That's just going to get stuck. The trees are like unrealistically heavy. I can't I can't get over how heavy these trees are. All right, we got 3. 3 trees all at once. Here we go. Oh my god. Yes. Oh no, we lost it. Oh, there's too much. Wait, back it off. That's why there's manual control here, guys. Just in case you start having some problems, you can always just kind of hop off of the vehicle and kind of fix what you need to fix. Let's give it a shot. Okay, there we go. That's so much better. Oh no, we lost one of those logs. Not a big deal. Just keep on pushing. Come on, push it in there. A little bit further. Oh, wow. There we go. So easy. Whew, all right. It is first thing in the morning. I've got my lumberjack sweater still on, ready to go. It's time for the giant redwoods. Now, these things are absolutely insane. They have to be cut in half. They are way too big to ever put into that machine, let alone onto the back of this truck without chopping them in half. But they are easy to take down. So here's our first target, though. This one's nice and close. I feel kind of bad because these trees, they do add a nice bit of scenery to the area. Uh, but, you know, I need some materials. I want to build a base eventually, so, I mean, we just have to do this. Now, let's try and chop it right at the base here. Look at that. It's so easy. Oh my god, timber! Oh, no, not in the water. Oh, okay, it still broke. I wasn't sure if it was going to break or not, but I'm realizing. Okay, hold on. I need to chop it in half, but you can't break... You can't break those uh, with your hammer. The the large red, redwoods, even when they're chopped down, you still have to use a saw blade. So I'm just going to weld it there. All right, so let's try and find like a, a bit of a center point of this giant redwood. Okay, that is not even close. So I guess it's actually right around this giant branch here. So why don't we just bring our saw blade. See, you can see I have one vertically mounted saw blade like so. And that's just so I can chop the giant redwoods in half. Just like that. And you know, the rings inside of the trees, you can tell how old a tree is by counting the rings because there's a new ring for every year. So how many does this have? It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Ten years old? All right, so I've got both of these halves ready to go. Uh, but before I do that, I do need to add my mounting plate to the back of the truck here. And like you saw before, this is just so I can weld things to it and then break things off without having to actually destroy my vehicle itself. They are massive. We're gonna stick it right there. Wow, look at that. The weight shift on my truck just from welding that. These things are massive. Let's put another one right on this side here like that. Okay, wow. Giant. All right, lower the blades. Turn the blades on. Skim the bottom. Just skim it. Nice and easy. There we go. Oh, wow. I is, Some of it must have been underground, right? Uh-oh. 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 Oh, jeez. Uh -oh. Uh -oh, okay, let's just drive out from under there. You know, this is, this is lumbering, guys. This is the lumberjack life right now. Now, I actually realized I do have to chop this tree in half. Now, it seems like the branch on this one is in a different spot. Before, it was, like, directly in the center. But this time, it really looks like it's not at all, which is rather interesting. So I guess there is some different models for the different trees. All right, this is looking pretty good right around here. Let's turn the saw blades on. Drive into it. Is it going to chop? Come on, chop. Chop, chop, choppy, chop. 
Now this is gonna be insane. I don't know if I can- can I? Okay, I can- okay, I can't break the wood down into its material form, but I can chop it so I can break off those extra branches there. Now, let's see. I don't think I'm gonna have room in this little side here. I'll check anyway, just in case. Yeah, no, there's no way that's gonna fit right there, so I'm gonna have to kind of prop it up a little bit higher. That's not too bad. And I do have room for this last one right here. Now, it's starting to go above my guards, which, I mean, okay. The guards aren't actually doing anything, they're not real. Alright, let's stick that one right there. Now, how this, how's this looking? This is looking pretty good. Should I add one more tree? Let me see. Let's get in this thing. The weight. I can feel the weight. Look at this. Wow. These things are so heavy. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it, guys. One more tree. Let's do this. Nice and easy. Chop it down. There we go. That one didn't have a base. There was no root system on this one, which is kind of strange. But now we do have our final giant redwood log. Now, did I... Oh, I thought that was a piece of wood for a second, but it's actually just... It's just a haybot leg. Alright, let's just push it into position. Like that. Okay, let's chop this one in half. This is kind of... This looks like it's actually, like, dead center. Okay, well, not, not anymore. Now, I'm pretty sure I am going to have to add to my mounting plate here. I don't have any more room left to weld these trees, so let's just kind of add an extension here. And we're gonna grab the tree. Okay, that's the... I think that's the top there, was it? Let's grab it from right here. Okay, uh-oh. My truck is just slowly sliding away. Let's see if we can't do this before it gets into the ocean here. Alright, right there. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Let's grab the next section here. Is this gonna work? I don't know. Alright, let's just weld it up onto the top there because my truck is starting to go... Right there, okay. Oh my god, oh, this is in the way for me to drive! Get out of there! Okay, hold on, I need to put my lift. The whole truck is just slowly... Oh my god, I can't put my vehicle on the lift right now because of all of the uh, lumber that's in the back there, because it's the raw mineral. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna get to the vehicle. Oh no. Can we back up? Just back it up. Just give her. Wow! Alright, giant redwood number one. I think it's actually easier to break it from this side. There we go. Okay, we've got it. Actually, don't want to forget to put my mounting section right there. Grab the tree, and I think this should fit. Okay, wait, no. Maybe not. Okay, I got rid of that extra layer of blocks there, and now it seems to be working. Uh, the only difference is once I have it in place like that, all I need to do is actually just kind of break the entire frame. Just like so. There we go. The whole thing is going to drop down very easily. Okay, this is it. Giant redwood going into the lumber mill. Let's start the saws up, and here we go! Oh, it's so slow! Push it! Come out, push it! There it is! Let's see what's going on here. Oh, yeah! Wow! It's breaking it all right! This is amazing! Oh, man, there goes another section. The pistons are still pushing as hard as they can. And another one! Wow! It's making so much wood right now! This is so good. Okay, final little section going in in a couple seconds. There it goes. All right, let's turn the engine off. Now, it's fun to try and go as quick as you can and race the uh, refine bots. Uh, just so you can actually see, like, a huge amount of the wood being gathered in the containers. Uh, it's just something that's very satisfying. But now, let's grab ourselves our next tree, just like so. Let's stick it on right there. Break our section to drop it, replace the section, and start up the saws. Here we go! Our next big redwood, and now, while that's actually going through, I am going to, like, quick prep the next tree. Uh, and hopefully that's just gonna kind of make this whole process go a little bit easier. Yeah, look, there it is! It's doing its own thing right now, which is actually huge. Having the ability to kind of just let your wood, like, sort itself out and kind of work alongside of it is a great time saver. Okay, there it is. The final block and a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Now that's going to retract 
We're going to be able to kind of break this right here. Grab that tree. Weld it to the base. And then remove the base. And then replace the base. And we are ready for our next one. Okay, there we go. It's pushing. Yeah, here's the refined bots. Look at them. They're both just going crazy right now. Non-stop refining action. Here is the next one. Now, I'm actually going to prep the next one for another run. Whew, man, I am really feeling like a lumberjack today. And again, I know I brought it up a couple times, but I still... I'm in total disbelief that we unlocked the lumberjack jacket in this video. I still can't get over it. Okay, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is done. Let's turn the saw blade off for a second. Try and save a little bit of fuel here. Break that. Grab that. And drop it in here. Alright, let's run it again. Oh my god, this is extremely efficient. I feel like this is an extremely efficient way to get wood anyway, because in basically one day, I mean it's 7.30 now in game time, but it's been basically one day, and we have managed to break down and refine almost three full giant redwoods. This is insane. Okay, I'm actually gonna just gonna stick that right there for now. Alright, bring it out. Now hold on, it's actually starting to get kind of dark. There's only one more giant redwood left to do. So let's position our lighting right here so we can actually see what's going on. And this is crazy. Yeah, I am going to, like, have farmed and refined three giant redwood trees in the span of one single day. That is so cool. All right, there we go. Push it in. Now let's get, like, a super close-up view of this. It's just so satisfying. Wow. Look at that! It's so cool! I love how slow the giant redwood goes. It's so heavy that you can see the difference between the trees that we did, like, in the last day, and then the trees that we're doing in this day. Oh man, we can, like, ride it in, too? Okay, no, that's, that's a bad idea. Alright, here we go. We're gonna grab our final giant redwood tree. Let's just weld it right there and have it ready to go. Okay, is this one done? Okay, it's done. Let's pop it out. We're gonna grab this. And you know, now it's time for our final redwood. There we go. So easy to do. So much wood to be had. Now, while that one is going through, let's see what we've got now. This should be pretty good. Oh, wow, look at that. This is from all of those giant redwood trees right here. We have almost a thousand wood one. Actually, there's even more here. We do, we have like a thousand right now. And there's still one more half being processed. This is so cool. And there is the final section going in. And just like that, wow. Just like that, it's all done. So that is going to be the video for today. I hope you guys did enjoy this lumber mill and the modified saw truck. This thing is awesome now. We can do so much with that truck. So if you guys did enjoy this video or the build, then let me know by hitting that like button. If you guys want to tune in for some more Scrap Mechanic Survival and Endless Scrap Mechanic, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Maybe even turn on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me and Scrap Mechanic. So guys, thanks for watching, and I will be seeing you in the next one. So, bye for now.